Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking out the Lozy Pro Moto. We're going to be running it. And now I'm going to give you like, I've had this a month, maybe a little bit longer. I'm going to give you my thoughts about this bike at the end of the video. But I think I inadvertently found the perfect place if you don't have dirt to ride in to uh, run this bike. I mean, man, if you got a big open parking lot, then you could really... Take some turns pretty fast with this thing. I need to check into the braking it just really likes to lock up that back wheel a lot but uh we came out here to run this thing in the dirt that's the that's the best part about this thing it is a dirt bike so let's go take it to the uh ballpark over here oh it's nice and shady over here now we do have a skate park over there uh if you've watched some videos you see people have uh had problems like bending up the uh the wheels on this stuff and right now parts are about impossible to get on this thing so I'm really not too into uh, trying to jump stuff ah uh, this is where this thing is home at uh, even though it's a dirt bike it doesn't really do good in uh, really bumpy terrain it's just kind of heavy and it just it bounces a lot but smooth stuff like this is where it's at oh yeah <laughs> this is a uh... this is such a fun bike uh, unlike an RC car you really kind of got to be ahead of it and think about where you want to go. Because like that, if you don't take the turn sharp enough, you got to stop. There's no reverse. Uh, I mean, it's not that big of a problem, but if you're like me and I got back problems, bending over all the time is not exactly the best. But, oh, this thing is so much fun. And I will say there's one downside to the gyro I haven't heard anybody mention about is when you get this thing, uh, when it flips and gets going, I think the motion of the gyro just keeps the bike spinning. I just dusted my GoPro. Uh, so yeah. So like if you jump and it goes end over end, this thing just excessively goes o over and over and over. I think it's kind of like the same thing like in a helicopter when you uh, you lose tail rotor and you got the the main rotor spins the fuselage around without the tail rotor to counteract it's almost like this thing when it's not on the ground the uh, the uh, Oh, gee, I already forgot the name. But yeah, it just it just tends to like spin this thing around a lot. So, plus I think I would say too, if you want to protect like, <laughs> if you want to protect your rider, the jersey, and everything, because these things flip so easy, this is really your best bet. Uh, if you really like keeping your <laughs> vehicles pristine this is not I go pretty easy on my stuff I have jumped this if you watch my review video but if you look here look that got scraped up probably from the parking lot 
Uh, this got a little scraped up right there. His helmet's got some scrapes a little bit there on the jersey. So it's really hard to keep this thing in uh, good shape. But ah, oh, it's fun. So it's different than your RC car because you got to think it through. You need a lot more room to turn this thing around. Slamming on the brakes really is not an option. Because <laughs> when it stops, then you got to go pick it up. Let's see if we hit the brakes. Woo! See, this is where you need to run this thing, something like this, where you got space. See, to me, this is the suspension's doing really good through here. Even in that grass, it's it's planted. But when you get really bumpy stuff. It doesn't really do so good. I imagine that they probably intended people would more run us on the street than uh, like off-road stuff. I said I would love to go over here and do some uh, jumps, but watching what people have done to the front wheel, bending the spokes, uh, I just like. I said, if you go back and watch my unbox video, I, I jumped on the ramp in my backyard and I didn't have any problems. But here, here's another thing that I'll, oh, the battery's about, battery does not last very long in here. Uh, so one thing I'll say that, uh, we're, I lost my train of thought here. Uh... Oh. oh that's right on the jumps if you watch the lozy video with the guy that actually was on the design team they tell you that when you jump stay on the throttle keep it full throttle because this thing tends to just nose down and you will land on that front wheel so many of us in the rc world are, are used to when we jump getting off the throttle because you don't want to land on throttle that's how you break stuff but uh, from what they said, is that's the whole reason they put the slipper clutch in here. So that way when it lands, the clutch will do what it needs to do and not break anything. So I hope I'm not messing. This doesn't really look like it's a, this is not a actual field for playing game. It's too short. So I really don't want to come in here and get in trouble for doing this. Let me know what you think. This does not look like it's anything that's used. I think maybe practice, maybe. Because look, I mean, the fence is right there. So, I mean, if this was a real game, you'd knock that ball so far gone. I mean, the real fields are way over there where they're mowing right now. But yeah, so like I said, you jump a car, we tend to get off the throttle so we don't break stuff. But Losey said, at least the guy on the design team said, stay on the throttle because this thing is so nose heavy. They designed it that way. So I've watched a few videos and can hear people get off the throttle and yeah, it noses down. This isn't a very big wheel. I mean, you only got uh, that little tiny back wheel. To, so there's not a lot there to try to control you in uh, But oh, this thing is fun. This is, you really need a good wide open spot like this to enjoy it. This isn't something that you can 
have a whole lot of fun in your uh, backyard unless you got a really big backyard. Uh oh, it's done. It's done. So what are my final thoughts on the Lozy Pro Motor? Now I'll tell you, this is an honest thoughts. These are my opinions. This I bought this with my money. Uh, I'm not sponsored by anybody, so this is my motorcycle. I purchased it, and I love it. It's totally different than any other kind of RC out there. Like I mentioned earlier, you kind of have to be ahead of it. You have to think about where you're going, how you're going to turn, how fast to go. And stuff like that I mean at worst case it stops moving <laughs> it lands on its side and then you got to go pick it up now most of the time on the street when it falls over you can pick it back up it'll go now sometimes it does go a little too far and you'll have to go walk usually in the dirt it won't even if it lands on the bar there's usually just not like a, not enough traction with the tire to kick it up like on the baseball field it never had enough traction for me to pick it up so it's just it's one of those quirks it's nothing wrong with it it's just one of those quirks of it being a motorcycle now let me just say some of the some of the downsides to it I mentioned earlier it's not uh, durable in some respects like the jersey a lot of people complain about the jersey the elbows ripping and I think that's more if you're going to use it on the street like I've already scratched this up quite a bit uh, I've done some street riding. Fortunately, mine's holding together fairly well. The number plate scratched up a little bit. The front fender scratched up. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the helmet. So there are some fragile pieces to it, but it's not bad. You can replace it. You can buy new jerseys. Not like you're stuck. Like if you chew it up, you're done with it. But it's just one of those things to make it look this realistic. They gave it a very realistic replaceable jersey. So if you want the realism, you have to deal with it. It's really, it's, to me, it's not like a deal breaker, honestly. You know, if something breaks, something like that, it'll just replace it. I think this is easier than, uh, you know, like some of these RC cars, the bodies are $100, $150 if you smash them up. So I think the parts for this are just a little bit uh, better. Uh, the one thing I dislike on this thing is just trying to get this battery unplugged. It's very tight. Plugging it in is usually not a problem, but when you have to try to get your hand in here and get to that plug, I just wish there was more clearance between there and this shield, or maybe if the shield had a quick release to come up, or there's just more clearance so that way you can get your hand back here and grab this thing would be great. And I mentioned earlier, like the off-road performance of this thing is not that great. So if you want to take it off-road like you would some other things, it's just extremely bouncy. And I think what I noticed here putting it on the bench is that just the weight of the bike really compresses the spring down a lot. And it, so it eats up most of the travel. So this is a progressive rate travel system. So as it goes up, it gets harder. So pretty much the bike's eating up that smooth area. So it might be fixable just by tightening the spring. You might need to change the oil. I don't know. I'd have to play around with that some more. Uh, some people did complain about the front brake sticking. Now, if you push it up here with your finger, if you push that the caliper up here with your finger and make it go max travel, then yeah, it gets stuck. And it doesn't want to move, and you kind of have to flip it back down. But the normal range of motion, from what I found with just the servo, it, uh, it works just fine. Uh, not saying it's not a problem for some people, but for me, I haven't had a problem with it sticking. I said I think it's when you try to manipulate it with your hand and move that that lever all the way. Now you can get some dirt in there and it will get hung up, so just be mindful of that. If you have one and you're riding it, just keep an eye on that front wheel, make sure it's spinning nice and smooth. Other than that, I love it, man. It's just a totally different experience having this thing. Like I said, you know, with the cars, you can stop, you can back up, usually get yourself out of trouble. This one, if you want to keep it moving, you kind of have to be ahead of it. You have to look where you're going and figure out, you know, the turns and stuff like that. But that's what makes it so much fun. 
is it's, it's just a totally different experience driving this thing you know there's no reverse there's no uh, just just stop and pick back up if you stop the thing most likely you're gonna have to go and straighten it up and get it going again so it's not that big of a deal but just things I, I wanted to point out in case you, you know you want to buy one you know just give you an honest opinion about it so I said battery connection I think could be better uh, maybe dial in this rear suspension a little bit and just be prepared that you know these parts here like I said I think with the problem with the gyro is when this thing goes airborne and it lands the gyro just keeps this thing spinning because literally if you watch one of my other videos this thing like flipped over seven eight times in a row it's crazy I've never seen anything like that before in an RC you know usually a car hits and it flips but I think the gyro there's the, the motion in there but you know like I said it's just one of those quirks of having a motorcycle um, so so far so good everything on mine's holding up pretty good just a little wear there in the jersey some scrapes here let me point out some scrapes there right here the number plate got it and so did the front fender a little bit but other than that i mean it's, it's holding up fairly well so i after a month of having this am extremely happy i have no regrets and some people are talking about the price i see people complaining about the price of the thing and they're like no way no way but you get what you pay for it's a good rc it's well built. It looks great. They put a lot of time and uh, research into this thing to make it right. The first time out of the box, really haven't had heard people having problems with like the slipper clutch going out, the motor going out, the gyro failing, any of that stuff. I haven't heard any of those problems. So I think it's just well thought out, well planned together. Just unfortunately, the only problem Lozy has, I don't think they anticipated the demand for this thing. And unfortunately, there's still people waiting to get their hands on one. But it's worth the wait, I promise, man. This thing is fun. So, hope you enjoyed the 30-day review and our little bash session. I hope you'll subscribe and join us for more RC content. You know, I'm, I'm well, trying to fly planes. I tend to crash them more than I fly. <laughs> I got, uh, got some speed cars back here we're working on. And, uh, you know, we got the X-Max and stuff like that. We go out there and take them bashing. And we have some fun with it, so... I hope you subscribe and join us for the fun. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.